Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create dashboards in Snowflake and how we can manage those dashboards. So if you have been watching my previous videos, you already know that, you know, uh, that Snow site has this feature of creating and managing dashboards using snow site we can actually create and manage dashboards and this is what we are going to do today so without any further ado let's move on to the date uh, to the snowflake portal and see exactly how we can do this so if you log into the snowflake portal which we have been doing it from you know past all our videos you will actually see that from left hand side there's a dashboard panel the moment we click on this dashboards panel usually it will be empty in case you do not have a dashboard so if you have a dashboard it will look something like this for example i have this test 01 created over here right now if i click on this plus dashboard icon on the right hand side right i am asked to add a new dashboard where i can put in my dashboard name so let me just put in dashboard name as dashboard name itself and hit create dashboard now you will see on the top hand side you have this role of account admin you have this no warehouse selected so you have to select a warehouse so let me just select my warehouse right now and you have an option in the middle to select a new tile or to create a new tile so essentially what is happening here is you have to create a tile which essentially mean that you have to select a query the output of which will be reflected in the chart form which will be displayed on the dashboard right so in case you do not understand any of these concepts i do recommend watching my previous video so that you have a full clear idea on what we are trying to do so if you are watching my snowflake series from the beginning till now then probably you will become a snowflake developer very easily so now let me just click on this new tile you will see that the moment i clicked on this new tile what essentially happened right i have a ui which is similar to the worksheets right so now here i am trying to i'll just put uh you know a simple command let's say select star from orders because this is the table that we have been using uh from uh, our previous videos as well let's say limit 100 right now if you know here we have already selected at the top the database and the schema right now let me just run this so the moment I run this, you will actually see that these are the results. And now if I want to plot these results on chart, I can actually do so, right? I can select in from the line, bar, scatter, score, grid, any type of chart, right? And in the similar way, if I want to add a label to the x-axis, I want to add a label to y-axis, I can easily do that. And you can already see that x-axis and y-axis has a label. Similarly, if I want to add any column, I can add it as well so now what we can do is let's say you have done this now what next right after this you can actually go and return to the dashboard and you will actually see that your chart which you wanted is actually over here right now if you click on this plus icon over here now for the same chart you have this table as well now this table is nothing but the data so the moment you drag and drop over here right you can also load this particular data the relevant data you can also load from here right so this is how you can actually play on with this dashboard now similarly let's say you know you have the data getting updated in this case you have to if you see on the right hand side you can simply rerun it and it will get updated and you can see it says updated just now now this thing you can actually do based on your data set right so this is essentially uh, you can do you can type in any kind of queries right it's not just you know the simple query which i have uh, done select star any type of query you can do that any type of query right so for example you know if you want to do a group by you want to do anything right so let us write a let us write another query for the same table orders table let me just look at these columns and let us write a query for this let's say select distinct order status from orders right now the moment we ran it we can actually see that we have distinct order status from this particular table and now if i go to chart i can put in any type of chart right over here 
now uh, essentially let's say this is the chart right now again if i want to put it you know on the dashboard i already have it on the dashboard over here right essentially similarly if you want to pull in the data as well related to it you can pull in the data so this is how you actually create dashboards in the snowflake snow site if you want you can share these dashboards as well so if you want to invite anybody you want to share it you want to you know have a link associated to it and you can give the permission whether a person can view the results of this dashboard or they cannot view or they can view plus run right so these details are also available and let me go back to the dashboard to the home page over here now you can see that you have your dashboard as well in the dashboard name now if i go to test 01 the dashboard that i already had so this is also one of the dashboards so this is how you actually create the dashboards don't look at the literal meaning of the dashboard over here because this is just for the, the demo purpose you know i did not mean to add you know the perfect visuals the perfect data set no it was just for the demo purpose now similarly you can see the shared with me option any dashboard which is shared with you can come up in this particular section Simil similarly all the dashboards created by you will come up over here and in the recent tab all the dashboards which you have used in the recent uh, you know uh, time period that will actually come up over here so thank you so much for being till here do let me know in the comment section if you're liking this particular series and thank you so much for being till here